For those of you who don't recall, uh, earlier this year during the summer, there was this viral claim that spread like wildfire on social media where AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, had been lying to everybody about her background, her history, how she grew up and came into the political realm, the political arena, I should say. And this viral claim was that she wasn't just some lowly bartender working behind the bar at a restaurant in Manhattan. No, 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 no. She was, in fact, the owner of the bar. She was secretly a rich, wealthy Manhattan bar owner, subjugating her employees to labor while, uh, to low paid labor, while uh, presenting herself as the working class. Uh, this all turned out to be bullshit. Uh, I was one of the uh, people who debunked it. Uh, obviously, this was bullshit. I mean, come on. Uh, but Jackson Hinkle was the guy who's, who, whose claim really went viral. Now, he got it from, uh, it's a big surprise, a uh, guest on the uh, Jimmy Dore show, um, uh, Swear Engine, the, that woman who ran for uh, Congress in uh, West Virginia. But it was his repeating of it on Twitter is what really gave the claim legs and he had didn't look into it at all just heard saw listened to what he heard on the jimmy Dore show and decided to share it with everybody on twitter and boom it went viral uh he has a problem now apparently with uh jimmy Dore. not jimmy Dore. excuse me no he has no problem with jimmy Dore. he has a problem with sam cedar of the majority port calling out jimmy Dore for his for Dore's extremely irresponsible fake news that he spread concerning COVID vaccines. Now, I covered this on my show as well. Uh, turns out that an investigation by YouTuber Sean um, found that Jimmy Dore completely misrepresented a news story in Fortune. Uh, the news story claimed uh, that Singapore had a very high vaccination rate and they had gone into full lockdowns uh, early on in the pandemic prior to vaccines and kept their COVID uh, case level extremely low, one of the lowest in the world. They were a great success story. And due to the high vaccination rates, they eased the lockdown measures and all the other COVID uh, mandates they had, COVID prevention mandates they had, because of the very high vaccine levels. And due to this, they had a big rise in cases. This is obvious. That's obviously going to happen. When everyone was spread apart and locked down in their homes, COVID cases are going to be down low. Everyone gets vaccinated. The virus still spreads, but the vaccines keep people out of the hospital and from dying. That is what happened. The vaccines are also a success there. But the cases rose because lockdowns were 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 eased. Jimmy Dore said his produ well, Jimmy Dore in his original telling of it uh, edited the story. And in his edit, he made it seem like the cases rose with the lockdown measures and other COVID, man anti uh, COVID prevention mandates in place. Now, Dore blamed his producer, said his producer changed the story without him knowing. He fired his producer. And uh, that's that in that aspect. People obviously then are free to criticize Dor regardless because it was his it's his show, his responsibility. He spread fake news. And Jackson Hinkle's out there, uh, really bothered by the fact that people would dare to criticize Dor. He went after Sam Cedar, 
and also he goes after me. Let's take a look at this clip. Uh, it was sent to me um, by a Twitter user uh, at NotMeBus. Thank you for letting me know about this. Here we go. This is clip one of one of two. Imagine if they actually did that, right? This is what accountability looks like and taking responsibility for actions looks like, right? Um, and you know, I, I've I've said incorrect things too. I've tweeted incorrect things. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Um, not my most recent tweet. That's correct. But uh, you guys might remember I tweeted out something about AOC that, um, though not disproven, it was never proven. Uh, I got to pause it there. Though not disproven, it was never proven. You are the one who has to prove the claim that AOC owned a bar. I can show you, and I did all the evidence that refutes that, but there is not going to be an official document saying AOC did not own a bar. That's not how things work. There's no license that says I did not own something. I did not run a bar business. The onus is on you to prove she did. You did not because she did not. And the idea that you are still disputing this some six months almost after the fact shows that, no, in fact, you did not take accountability. You deleted your claim because everyone was ragging on you and you couldn't take the heat because you couldn't prove it. So you deleted it to save your own ass. Um, so I took it down. I issued a statement and I retracted it, right? Because... You know, there was no evidence to back that up. So Yeah, exactly. No evidence to back it up. That's what this is all about. That's what uh, this is called, right? You didn't have the evidence to back it up. No one has to disprove it. It's on you to prove it. Um, J this is Jimmy explaining the fact that, right. uh, you know, he's, he's taking accountability. All right. All right. Okay. okay. He took accountability by blaming his producer. That's taking accountability. And he fired the guy. I actually don't think that was the right move. I think that's kind of uh, harsh. Um, especially if there was no uh, nefarious reason behind it. Obviously, if the person came out and said, yeah, Jimmy, I purposely lied. Sure, okay. But I don't think that's what happened. It doesn't seem like it, at least. Maybe it did, though, I guess. We'll, 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 we'll have to find out, maybe. Maybe the producer will reach out. The, the former producer will reach out to me. I would love to talk to that person. Um, and let's go to the next clip here. Uh, all right, here we go. So he just played a clip of Sam uh, saying, Jimmy Dore does not give a fuck about you, which is true. Jimmy Dore doesn't care. Um, by his push for anti-vaxxer content, uh, an anti-vaccine mandate content, it shows that he doesn't care about your health, Jimmy Dore viewer. Um, but let's let's watch this clip from Jackson Hinkle, this next clip. In that video that someone produced a lie. Yeah, it was the fucking producer. It was the producer. That producer was fired. Accountability was taken. Jimmy, as far as he has explained, is was not aware, was not privy to that edit. Therefore, that producer has been fired because they told a lie. So I, I, I don't know what more people like Sam want from Jimmy, but, you know, Sam can't go through like a given episode without, um, you know, discussing Jimmy Dore making a video. What, what is their hang up on this? That Majority Report or myself or any critic of Jimmy Dore covers or talks about Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore has almost a million subscribers on YouTube. He has video. How, how many views do his videos usually get? Let me take a quick look here. The Jimmy Dore Show YouTube, 912,000 subscribers. Um, let me look up specifically the COVID content. Uh, we got, 
uh, Fauci, Fauci's greatest COVID failures exposed, almost 50,000 views. COVID surges among vaccinated, vaccinated in all caps. In Israel, that's 314,000 views. California COVID rates double in Florida, uh, 118,000 views. Um, these get hundreds of thousands of views as COVID content. I think it's very important then to cover what he says about this stuff. I don't understand. You guys critique mainstream media, right? We do that too. Because why? Because they have a reach. And it's important to cover this stuff, right? It's important to call them out for their bullshit, right? Why do you think you are any different? Do you think you're just not important enough? Or uh, we're, we're literally doing what you want, right? We want to take... You say that people should take your stuff more seriously than mainstream media, right? So we are. We're taking you at least just as seriously as mainstream media. And we're covering you. And we're calling out your bullshit just like we do at mainstream media. I don't understand what the hang-up is with us covering what you guys do. Unless the idea is that we're blowing your spot and uh, letting your audience know that Jimmy Dore and I'm assuming Jackson Hinkle too are bullshit artists as well. Then, of course, you'd want to say, oh, why, why are you picking on us? Please pick my shit apart. I got nothing to hide. Why wouldn't you want someone? To cover your shit. So bizarre. Uh, Jimmy Dore. This is like, this is his entire fucking, he's like, it's like the majority report is the, is the fucking Jimmy Dore fan club. Um, so Ken, of course, tweets this out. Uh, Matt Binder. Ooh, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Mr. Heinkel? It's Binder. How dare you? This guy. Kim Ford, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I like how By the way, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to drop a like. It does help us boost in the algorithm. I appreciate you. Who, so Matt Binder. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This guy came after me once. Okay, so he's Majority Report. Uh, he works for the Majority Report, I guess. He's on the Majority. I came after you once? You're making it seem like I had a personal vendetta. I came after you to hold you accountable for the AOC lie that you told and spread on social media. I held you accountable. If I did not put you on blast over that lie, you would have never taken accountability because it was my work. And I'm, I'm not someone, you know, there were other people who debunked you too, but it was my shit that went viral calling you out for the lie. I'm the one who held you accountable. You didn't do this out of your own free will. You didn't do the research later on and decide, oh, I was wrong. No, I called you out. I went after you. I put you on blast and completely called you out on your bullshit lie. And that is the reason you held yourself accountable. I came after you. Get the fuck out of here report and uh he's going after jimmy as well he says if you are the now former jimmy door show producer who door says he fired over this do feel free to reach out why do you think the jimmy door producer would reach out to you um because he got fired from the jimmy door show and maybe he'd want to talk to somebody about it do you think he's happy about losing his job you don't think the way this whole thing went down would leave somebody disgruntled where do you think reporters get their sources from? That's like a major avenue to talk to someone who has insider information on something that you might be interested in. I, or I'm sorry, these truth tellers probably don't know that's something that would make sense for a journalist to do. Why do you think he would reach out to you? Sure, he's not happy, but he also acknowledged that it was his fault. He edited this. He said, "Did he? Did the did the producer acknowledge it was his fault?" As far as I mean, maybe Hinkle knows the guy, maybe, and maybe that's where he got the information from. Totally possible. 
as far as I know, there's been no public statement from the producer, the former producer. If there is, please show me. I did a dumb thing or I did an idiotic thing and I made a mistake. Are, again, are you putting words in this person's mouth? I have not heard any of this from anyone. I have not heard from the producer or from someone who claims to have known the producer say that the producers come out and said, I did something stupid and idiotic. Oh, I deserve to be fired from the Jimmy Dore show. I could be wrong. Maybe it exists and I didn't see it or I wasn't in on this. Maybe it was a private email or message that went around in those pro door circles. I don't know. Please let me know about it. Thank you, In Jay. Switzerland and other countries, if you had COVID before, you only need one dose of vaccine to be considered fully vaccinated. Unlike the what U.S. Oh, he's X, got one of those. I, I would never put on one of these. Mm. Well, let's continue. That's continue. That's interesting. I wonder what happens if you've had it like three or four times like myself. Um, that That's really interesting. So you've had COVID Matt three or four times. What are you doing? Are you purposely licking people's disposable masks out of the when you like ripping them out of the trash and licking the inside of the disposable mask how have you had covid three or four times do you are you a medical you work in the medical field i mean i've spoken to to medical professionals who've dealt with covid patients who haven't had covid three or four times i there smeared magnus pranvidia i'm not surprised so oh, i smeared magnus pranvidia the uh the the uh the boogaloo boy jimmy Dore had on his show to portray the boogaloo boys as something positive or something progressive when they are not that's how i smeared that guy i did a complete debunking of the boogaloo boys look we have we have matt binder here who's saying this shit is it matt binder or binder i guess it doesn't really matter um, he's a shit lib at the end of the day. So, um, that's, that's bad shit lib to you, buddy. Shit lib bender. Why do you think he would reach out to you? Like, again, the producer acknowledged that he did a quote idiotic thing. He edited this shit together and it was, it was a lie. It was misrepresentation. Um, I, I don't understand like why Matt thinks that like he, like he's some sort of a disgruntled employee or something. He admitted to it. He admitted to it, but they have it again. Where, please somebody, I, I, I want to be, I want to have this information. I would love, I would love to know, uh, if this is, uh, a thing. Did the producer come out and say, I fucked up. It's all on me. I would love to see it. Or are you regurgitating what Jimmy Dore said? The producer said. Because that's hearsay. Like calculated in their head. You want to know why he's tweeting this out, actually? I'll tell you why Matt Bender tweeted this out. Um, Matt Bender tweeted this out because he and Sam and Emma all hate Jimmy Dore so much that they honestly believe that Jimmy's making this shit up about the producer and that he just used the producer as a scapegoat to fire him, right? What? What? No, he's, uh, Zoe asked, did you go back in the vid or is he fully repeating himself? He's fully repeating himself. I did not rewind this video at all. I mean, I don't know what Sam Cedar and Emma uh, claimed. I am my own individual just because I'm on, just because I'm on the majority port doesn't mean I share a brain with Emma and Sam. And then Sam don't even share the same brain. Um, so I've been quite clear that I believe this producer is a real individual. Judging by the fact that I tweeted out, I would like to talk to this person that acknowledges that they exist. Um, and I don't know if Jimmy is throwing this producer under the bus. That's why I want to talk to the producer. I would love to know what happened. I mean, it is Jimmy's show. The buck stops with him regardless of what happened. Uh, but, I mean, my tweet that's sitting on your screen 
Jackson Hinkle completely refutes what you were claiming of me. That's why he tweeted this out. He honestly believes that said producer right now is probably sitting at home pissed off without a job because Jimmy Dore made up a lie about him editing this together. That I mean, I'd be pretty pissed if I got fired from my job. I mean, this isn't some like major corporation. Jimmy Dore probably works with this person every single day. How many people work in Jimmy? I could tell you from my experience working at the majority report that I work directly with Sam Cedar every single day for five years of my life. Me, Sam, uh, there was a time where there were our earlier producers. It was me, Sam, and Evan. Um, and then there was a time period where Evan left, and it was me and Sam for a little bit, just me and Sam working side by side every day. And then he brought in a few uh, shorter term producers. Always just three people usually. And then he brought in Michael Brooks. And it was just me and Michael Brooks and Sam Cedar every single day in a single room, hours together, for years. And so, yeah, if I made a mistake, I can tell you that if it wasn't done on purpose to... Uh, hijack or hurt the show purposefully in any way and it was an honest mistake sam would not have fired me because i mean we were working in a progressive atmosphere and i mean i'm in a i'm in a union now at my job i'm in the news guild and i can tell you that if i made a mistake i would not be fired because i'm protected by my union there's a process. I'd have to be reprimanded. I'd have to be given warnings. I would not be fired. Because if you're in a pro-labor atmosphere, unless this person was out to literally hurt Jimmy Dore, do this purposefully to make him look stupid, had nefarious purposes to doing this, the guy made a mistake. I don't see how you consider yourself to be pro-labor and cheer on the firing of this guy if it was an honest mistake. That's how that's how brainwashed Matt Bender and Sam Cedar are that they actually think this is what happened rather than the truth that the producer did this without the knowledge of Jimmy Dore and gave it to him and Jimmy said this live to however many tens of thousands or however many thousands of people were watching, right? It's crazy. I mean, it's not. It's crazy, but that's how that's how brainwashed they are with this like obsession with an anti-Jimmy Dore sentiment, right? I mean, it's not for no reason. It's crazy. It's not crazy. Borking, borker. They it's not crazy. It's funny, uh, you know, that we're the ones obsessed with Jimmy Dore, right? Um, I guess. But, uh, you know, he's defending... Jimmy Dore firing somebody uh, for, I mean, you think this producer came, he, his claim that the producer came out and said it was my fault. Do you think the producer also came out and said, it's my fault. I did it on purpose to smear and defame Jimmy Dore. I mean, because unless that happened, this guy's got no idea. He's got no idea. 